Hi to all. My topic is mother tongue influence in English. Language is a method of communicating ideas, thoughts and desires by means of sounds for psychological and physiological survival. English acts as second language. Even though it is not our mother tongue, it has become a global language. The aim of teaching English is not to imitate the native speakers or to develop the British or American accents. The aim of this article is to discuss the mother tongue influence in speaking English among students community Indian learner of English. Without English, it is very tough to manage in this ultra modern world. English is without a doubt the actual universal language. It is the world's second largest native language. The official language in 70 countries and English speaking countries are responsible for about 40 percentage of world's total GNP. English is very important in this modern world. How to reduce mother tongue in English? Read out loud. Learn a new word every day. Watch films. Make friends. Do interesting things in mother tongue. Have a debate. Use a dictionary. So we can reduce the mother tongue in English. How to overcome mother tongue English? Communicating with our associates and peers in English makes the other end people to point out the errors. Listening to the channel, principally news will definitely make us to drown the mother tongue language space. Attention English news and no doubt the unfamiliar words or the word which is influencing you. Then try it with the correct English pronunciation. Then put into practice of using few tongue twister regularly. Make a list of frequently used words and ask the one who speaks good to pronounce and record it and listen carefully. Recording one's own voice can zenith our pronunciation and make to overcome mother tongue language. Mother tongue influence and its impact on spoken English. English is valued highly in the Indian society with a lot of prestige being attached to the language. A lot of time and energy is dedicated to teach or learn English in the Indian schools. Despite this, not much attention is given to enhance the speaking skill in the average Indian classroom. That the learner will pick up the skill from general classroom activities and instruction over a period of time, it is a false assumption made. As a result, the learners are not able to develop this skill and hence lack confidence while conver conversing in English. Generally, errors made in pronunciation are due to difference in the sound system and spelling symbols between the mother tongue and English. As a regular practice, the teacher is seen as a model for correct speaking in class. The learners are expected to be introduced to the pronunciation of words in English by their teacher. During the day-to-day -day interaction, it is when the teacher her himself has colored pronunciation that the learners are unable to acquire correct skills in spoken English. The pronunciation samples they are exposed to in their classroom environment being inappropriate, the learners are most likely to adapt a similar pronunciation skill. Identifying mother tongue influence. Every language affects English learners differently. So we can't simply list out all the common mistakes. This post would be long. If you are not complete newcomer to the country you are in, then it can be hard to identify at first. The longer you stay, the more often you will notice some mistake occurring, which likely a sign of the mother tongue is interfering. Pay attention to your mistakes your student make and when you come across the same one over and over again, ask somebody who speaks the local language if it might be caused by uh, that language. It's definitely worth doing this because letting uh, students know when they are being influenced by their mother tongue is a good way of stopping it happening again. What kind of thing? Influence in mother tongue. As mentioned earlier, different languages affect English learning in different way. For some sentence word order can be problem. You might hear sentence like I for uh, breakfast eat toast or I tomorrow will go to Japan. This is usually easy to rectify. You just need to remind students of the correct word order and practice 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 in fact most errors are fixed by just practicing more in other languages pronunciation might be a problem the classic example is germans producing w as v and saying sentence like welcome to my home 
This is usually caused by two things. The first being that they were taught phonics incorrectly or have let it slip. The other cause of a switch war is because their own language has very distinct sounds and pronunciation, such as Chinese. When trying to cope with the softer sounds that English can have, it can be difficult. This is also the reason why some people struggle with correctly pronouncing different vowel sounds. We can't do away with mother tongue influence completely. In fact, to ease our pain for us Indians, the target should be to reduce our mother tongue influence so much that from a Punjabi, Bhojpuri, Tamil, Marathi or Bengali English speaker, we become an Indian English speaker. Conclusion of this topic is, since language and the man are not the same and they cannot be separated, problems will always arise from the two angles. Solution must also be provided to such problems in order to have effective communication in the society. This chapter has reduced us to the work that will be done and the next chapter. Chapter 2 will review some works of literature by some renowned scholars in the fields of language. And this will establish the place of this work by linking it to some works that have been read. Thank you.